Hello there and welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to create notification with images. Uh, you can add in videos and GIFs as well. So today I will add GIF. So this is what I have already created. So I will hit notify and within three seconds we will get the notification with the small icon. If you like just pull over you get the bigger picture with the GIF running. If it's a video it will play as well. So let's get started. Uh, here I have already created a project. Uh, make sure you uh, you do not name your project user notification uh, Just because uh, it will collide with the module uh, Here I have given name user notification image. So just uh, Name it carefully. So under Stony board, I will just throw in a button And I will add constraints. So I will say 10 from top 10 from left and 10 from right and height will be uh, let's say 75 and add four constraints so for text color we will say white and for background color we will say gray gray looks good so this will be just double click and say notify and i will bump up the text size to 30 i guess and okay we are done so just connect this button to our view controller file so I will connect here and say notify pressed, notify pressed and it will be of type action, UI button, connect. So we are done with the storyboard part so let's hop over to our view control and here we, will, we first need to import user notification. So if you recall from like uh, your applications that whenever you first install your app uh, you get application asks for permission okay whether like application may want to use your contacts or images or anything and you just say yes so that's what we need to do first we need to ask for permission and we will say un user notification center dot current dot request authorization and hit enter here we will pass in a array of uh, options we will say dot alert comma dot uh, badge comma dot sound and completion handler will be success and error so we will say if error is equal equal to nil then we will print authorization successful so uh, that's what we needed to do for requesting authorization now let's quickly create a function and create a basic uh, notification okay so we will say func and it will be a time notification so it will be time notification and we need to pass in uh, two parameters so in seconds and this will be of type time interval and comma and another will be a handler so it will be a function so completion double colon underscore success and it will be of type boolean and return open close and that's it so we are ready with the function so first let's create a request so request equal to un uh, notification request open brackets and this one so identify will be custom notification and if you notice we need two stuff one is content and another is trigger so first let's create a trigger so let trigger equal to un time interval notification trigger open brackets time interval just passing the parameter in seconds here so in seconds and repeats will be false so if you want a notification to repeat every week or something you can adjust it according to your your needs and another thing we need is a content so let content equal to uh, un mutable notification content open brackets and close and here we will say content dot title equals to new gif 
content dot subtitle equal to new funny gif is out and we will say content dot body equal to this new amazing gif is trending now and uh, that's it so let's just add our content to content so content and trigger will be trigger or oh, not true trigger and we just need to add our uh, notification to our current notification center so we'll just say un notification center or oh, we need un notification center un user notification center dot current dot add request and here we will pass in our request and completion handler will be error so if error is equal equal to nil then we will say print uh, completion open close and true and this is our completion handler we, uh, which we passed as parameter so completion and open close false if we get an error so just call this in our and this will be oh it's I forgot I here so it's okay anyways let's just make it right so I guess it doesn't matter so we will say time notification and in seconds will be 3 and completion we will say success and hit tab if success just print out print successfully notified and let's run the application and here we have error so in swift 4 when we use closures we need to add at escaping here so anyways it solved it for us so the application is loading and this is from my previous application so this is our new application and here is our button asking for permission allow notify and back to home and let's wait okay we get the notification we still need to add the gif so first let's stop the application uh, and here i have the gif i will drag and drop under my project folder and make sure the checkboxes are similar and hit finish now I'll bring it back so i have a tenor.gif so under view uh, under our function we first need to get the url so let we will say let image url equal to bundle dot main dot url and it will be for resource and it will be tenor and this will be of type gif so let's guard the statement so guard let and else we will say completion will be false and just return so now we need to create an attachment so we will say let attachment equal to u, uh, un notification attachment open brackets and we need this one if you notice this function throws so we will just hit add so in front of this uh, i definitely know that that there exists this gif so i will just forcefully unwrap it so we don't need to do the do try thing but if you are making a professional app make sure you uh, put this under do statement so identified will be uh, tenor and url will be image url and for options will be dot none and we just need to add this attachment to our content so content dot attachments equals to open close uh, just our attachment and let's run the application so the application is loaded if i hit notify and go back to home uh, okay uh, we will solve the problem of like notification not appearing while application is on so just for now notify command shift h and we should get the notification now with the gif icon and if we make it big we get this so uh, 
when the application is on uh, on screen uh, we don't get the notification to solve that problem uh, let's stop the application go to app delegate here we need to import user no notification user notifications and we will create an extension of app delegate so extension app delegate and this will be un user notification center delegate and i'll just add some spaces okay oh the closing brackets and here we will uh, use method will present of you user notification center and we will say completion handler and open close brackets dot and it will be of type alert and we need to assign the delegate to of our current user notification so it will be un user notification center dot current dot delegate equal to self and let's run the application for one last time and see how it works so when i say notify it should uh, show the notification while in the application as well and let's decrease the time uh, increase the time to let's say 10 seconds and run the application once again and i will show you even if we close the application from the multitask we still get notified so i'll just pull this up click close 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 and go to main screen and i should still get the notification so we got the notification and it's here so that's how you create user notifications with attachments if you have any questions post them in comments if you like this video please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos